No Bobby Kennedy Jr. This is commentary from James Brown. For a moment there, a few days back, I was excited for a presidential debate. I thought President Joe Biden, former President Donald Trump, and independent candidate Bobby Kennedy Jr. were going to duke it out on stage in front of a live studio audience. I envisioned a train wreck in front of tens of millions of people, showing how weird the state of American politics is. Well, I still might get that part. But no audience. And no Bobby Kennedy Jr. I think it'll make a cleaner purer experience, said CNN's Chris Wallace, who has moderated presidential debates before. But in terms of the candidates, I don't think it makes much of a difference because you're so focused on what you're saying and what the other guy is about to say that you're not sitting there playing in front of the crowd like it's a rally. Well, he's right and wrong. Yes, it's a cleaner experience because the audience isn't there And I could argue that they could be distracting. But this debate format ain't pure. I'm not planning on voting. But roughly 10% of Americans who expect to are telling pollsters that they're willing to vote for Bobby Kennedy Jr. Whatever you think of his opinions, it's wrong to box him out in the voices of those Americans who are interested in what he has to say. And if you think he's wrong, Shouldn't President Biden and former President Trump be capable of telling him that to his face? What do you think? And what should be the requirements for a presidential debate? Let me know in the comments and support my work at jamesbrowntv.substack.com. On that note, I'm James Brown. And as always, be well.